Hello everybody, so in this video I'm gonna show you how to download and install 3D skin layers for Minecraft Java. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here all you want to do is go to your search bar and search up mod rinse like so. Just enter now and you'll find mod.com, just go to mod and then you'll be on the mod rinse homepage. From there, all you want to do is go to discover content on the top of the website, and then you want to go down to mods. Now, all you want to do is go to search mods, and you want to go ahead and search up 3D skin layers. Here you'll find 3D skin layers here, just click the name, and this will bring you to this page here. So here, all you have to do is go to versions, and from there, you want to go to game versions, and you want to choose what Minecraft version you want to play. I'm going to play the latest one. And from there, you will have multiple platforms, but we will, we will be using Fabric here. So just find your version for Fabric and click the green download button. And you also need a dependency called Fabric API. You can get this by clicking the version name here. And then you can go ahead and scroll down and you'll find dependencies. So just click on Fabric API. And from there, go to versions. And just like before, go to game versions and choose your version that you did before. And now, all you want to do is find a release for your version and click the green download button. And now, you should have Fabric API and 3D skin layers. So now, all you need to do is get yourself Fabric, and to get Fabric, you want to go to a new tab, you want to go to your search bar, and you want to search up Fabric Minecraft. Here, you'll find Fabric MC.net, just go on Fabric, and then you'll be on the Fabric homepage. From there, all you want to do is go to the blue download button, and now you want to go ahead and go to the blue download for Windows button. And now all you want to do is once you have Fabric installer here, just go ahead and close or minimize your web browser. And now all you want to do is go to your file explorer to access your downloads folder. Here all you want to do is double click the Fabric installer. From there you want to go to Minecraft version and make sure you choose the right version which matches of these two mods, which for me was the latest one they had. And here we just do install. Okay. And close. And now all you want to do is open up the Minecraft Launcher and over the Minecraft Launcher you'll be able to add the two mods to the mods folder. So basically if you have Fabric Loader here, go to the top here to Installations, then go ahead and hover over Fabric Loader and go to the folder icon. Then all you want to do is find mods, double click mods from there, go to your downloads folder, select the two mods and copy them, then go to the top left arrow to go back to your previous folder and click paste. Here you have copy pasted Fabric API and 3D skin layers in the Minecraft mods. So all you want to do now is just go back to the Minecraft launcher, go to play, make sure you have Fabric Loader here selected and click play. Once Minecraft has opened, you can go to a single player world, a server or a realm. This is client side, so I'm just going to go to a single player world, but this also goes with any other. And basically what 3D skin layers do is that if we go on F3 here, I'll just make this a bit bigger for you. You'll notice that our skin here has connected textures. For me it's made in the hair, but you can notice that your skin and other people's skin will have connected textures. The basically second layer of skin here, of the skin will not float. You'll notice that we have like the actual little blockiness of the hair or blockiness of any other part as well which is what 3D skin layers does. It just makes it look a bit more realistic, a bit more Minecrafty, blocky. I don't know how to explain it but it just makes it look a bit better because you don't have any floating textures and everything like that. So yeah, that is how we get 3D skin layers for Minecraft Java. So if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.